Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Let's Keep It 100 Podcast. I know we've been going for a while, but we I had to get everything straight, man. And I'm bringing y'all all next level shit. We ain't stopping no more. So just fuck with us. Thank you. Two, one. Welcome back to Let's Keep It 100 Podcast. You mean? I know we've been going for a minute. Niggas been on bullshit. I ain't gonna hold you. My funds ain't like that, and I'm doing everything by myself. And don't nobody help me. Leak don't help me. Chew don't help me. That's why they. I'm about to. Where's the shirt? We gonna wipe. We gonna wipe. their names out. Chew. Chew went skating. He was supposed to do this with us. He went skating. Leak car. He said his car broke down. He fraud. But That's custom made came through though. Yeah, I'm the creator. I'm really the director. You, yes. you said you got my podcast, Yeah, this is my shit. This is my mind. I play kids. So nobody listen to my mom. Yeah, my man Montana. My man. But custom made, you turned this into like a freak show. Because we was talking about a real situation, real life shit, and you just turned it into some fingers and niggas' booties. And <laughs> all that type of stuff. So if y'all haven't seen that episode, go watch episode two where custom made just reveals a lot of Freaky, kinky shit that niggas doing. Feast just, Feast called me early. He said a bitch uh, told him she was gonna turn him out when he came home. Like, yeah, I'm gonna eat your ass. This and that to you. <laughs> like, what, bitch? I'm not going none of that shit. No, but niggas be out here You can't hide it though until you try it. Nah. Are you, on, you ain't one of them? Nah. You know what you said? Do he look like one of them? Like, like, you ain't one of them? I don't know. You not you know, you know, had a girl going to the before? No. The goosh? They ain't gonna pass that. The, the little goosh. No, yeah. fuck no. So that's gay? Yeah, yeah, that's gay. I don't think that's gay. Listen, for, listen, the position you gotta be in is gay. You, I mean, it's certain positions you can be in. No. Listen, so you gotta open your legs. I mean, I mean, I had a nigga like this before. So you had him on all fours. <laughs> 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 and you put the finger in his mouth. You put the finger in as well. Then I put the finger in his mouth. Dude. No, you put the finger in as well. You finger. I mean, you know, so nah. Nah. that's his name. But listen, we ain't. But that's home. even even that's gay because you you now you looking over your shoulder. The finger shoulders. is gay, but all that shit gay. I don't think eating ass is gay. I, I think, think that's, that's just certain guys' preference. Some yeah, people are like super certain. kinky. Yeah, that's it, what it, it is. is what it is. You let a tongue on your butt, you let a fang. You let a fang, you let a dick. If you let anybody go below a period, like, you just know. Like, it is what it is. A lot of women do what they want to do. Wayne on a tight time. But custom made, back to you. Yeah. I see when I post you, you it seems like you get a lot of hate. Why you think a lot of, why you think you get so much hate? Because motherfuckers don't like me. Why not? Because I'm this damn motherfucking bitch. I think and that you maybe that. you did something. I ain't doing nothing to nobody. <laughs> I'm an independent motherfucker. I think that hurts people, but I'm a good person. I'm more of an independent person too, like I said. Do you see it? Do you see the hate? Do I see the hate? I've been seeing motherfuckers like I grew up with. It be like grudges, and I don't be knowing what the grudges be. Like, but sometimes, like when you grow, certain people don't go that route with you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta leave motherfuckers on the block or like wherever you met them at. Like sometimes, like some people don't even be around the whole time. That's how I look at it. Yeah, you gotta leave until you know the advanced shit life. Yeah. But they cause lose people. I'm losing whoever. I don't give a fuck if it's me. I don't give a fuck if it's my kid. Exactly. But look. <laughs> so <laughs> people want to know. People want to know. What do they want to know? On a scale of Nicki Minaj to Cardi B, how big is your ass? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, Inquiring minds like your motherfucking ass. I want to know too. Who the fuck up? Y'all two motherfuckers. Huh? It ain't fake. It's like a fat transfer. So it's basically recycling my own fat. And it's going from my stomach to my ass. How healthy is this? Uh, I don't want you to die. I'm not going to die. What Which you mean? You to die I no, like, because, all right, so break That's it down. That's what I want to. Break yeah. it down. Break it down the procedure. So the procedure is you got to have... Your BMI, your BMI level has to be lower than... What the fuck is a BMI level? That just takes like... You got a body mass? No, like like the way your body is. So whereas though, say for instance, you got high blood pressure or some shit like oh, okay, that, okay. you won't be able to get the procedure done because it's like your BMI level is too high. Okay. So mainly it's for people, let's, they say basically 35 under, it's a 35 under. 
people that's over their limit, they be in my level super, super high, they gotta get all these tests and stuff done because it's like, you really can't fuck with it because you can really die from it. You see people been dropping like flies and shit like that. And then it depends on really who you go to. A lot of people be trying to be cheap, take the cheap route, like, oh, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna get ass shots. Matter of fact, ass shots is the worst thing to get because that shit probably like, I don't know, something like 200 per shot or some shit like that. Mm. But it's like, you gotta keep it up. So That's what Kim Michelle had, right? Yeah, she might have been taken out because you seen the stuff that affect your body. Dying. Yeah, that should be really like real life shit. So you paid a pretty penny for your surgery, that's what I mean. Like, like, all together, this shit was like 15, 15, 15 grand. grand, you feel me? A yeah. lot of bitches mm -hmm. don't got that. Yeah. So do you, like, what would you encourage younger women to do, like, if they don't got the funds? Don't fucking them? get it, because at the end of the day, I cashed yeah. out. Anything I'm doing, some dumb shit, like, that was the dumbest shit I did in my life, because I wasn't even going to get it done. Yeah, I just was playing around, made a deposit, and I'm like, fuck it. I got to go along with it now, because they already took my money. I'm not going to get burned out of 1500 Fuck yeah, I was scared. I didn't tell nobody until, I swear to God, I told, I think my girlfriend, Jarrell, she had a party. Like two days before I was about to go. Only person I probably told was my mom. The next day was the 30th. I was already down Miami down the 30th. I never told nobody but two people. So it was like I was scared because I didn't know the you know the outcome of it. And I know my shit was like I didn't know. Like that shit, I, it was scary. So do you care about like the backlash you get? Like people just talking shit. About I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, motherfuckers can't afford it. They would have been on some shit. Like mm -hmm. go get that shit done. They like, do majority, it too. Yeah, they would get it done. Like probably like man, what's the next month? April, May, I'm get my tickets done. So that's another four or five thousand. And I don't give a fuck. I feel like y'all got to do that at the moment. Yeah, like you can't get the body baby. done. Bro. You can't. I don't like when you you get the body done. And you don't. You gotta get it all done. You know what I'm saying? Like you just can't get the ass done and not the, the tits. Because you gotta um. Like, I know when y'all have babies and titties dropping, when you have abortion, they dropping. I know you probably had a couple of them too good, bro. But, uh, what were you talking about? Um, How about You were still talking about the, the, the people get. The, the fake butts and stuff. Yeah, you were talking about when people get the, um, when they have babies and shit, and abortions. Oh, no, the titty, yeah, the titties drop. So yeah, I don't, I don't have no problem with people getting their bodies done. A lot of people be saying like I'm a woman, like not a womanizer, but um, like I'm just against women and all that stuff because I just call it how I see it. I just don't want y'all to die. So like, it, like if they won't get the surgery, get the real surgery. How you got it done? You feel me? Right. Don't really I put it on too. They on like the social media. That shit detects that shit too. Like, that shit really be having motherfuckers on a certain type of time because it's like they be wanting to be that person. You know what I'm saying? But they can't afford it. That's why they be on that shit. Like, talking shit because it's like, damn, like, this person died, this person like died. Yeah. I love Alexis Scott. She got the best fake body I ever seen in my fucking life. I, I don't shoot anything. Yeah, she got the best fake body I ever seen in my fucking life. I am shooting that club. I love if I ever meet that bitch. Mm. But look, speaking of shooting the club up, Say you talking to the nigga, right? Y'all fuck, y'all tour or something, y'all, you mean, he hit raw. Do a nigga gotta ask permission before coming in? Depending on how long you know him, bro. No, if y'all fucking raw, that's already the permission. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's permission yeah. given. I feel like that's like if a bitch suck, well, if a bitch sucking your dick and you just come in her mouth. That's like, she can feel it. That's she can feel it when you want to lie. You know, everybody's gonna be coming here. She can feel when you're about to nut. You know, yeah, we shooting, bro. <laughs> you know, everybody's gonna be coming the fuck up here. Alright, so. She can feel a pussy when she's. She can feel a pussy, pussy, pussy jump when, when she's when she sucking. So, like. Uh, I kinda think that's disrespectful, though, because. Well, you can't you just come in a bitch, yeah, bro. You, you don't know if, if you never had a conversation, you don't know if the bitch is on birth control. Now you got a baby, you don't know what. This is the thing, this is the thing, right? Just how bitches always say, oh, a nick, why you ain't put a condom on? They got female condoms out there, too. Ain't nobody using Ain't nobody. I understand, I understand that. That's why you use a condom to get your dick sucked. Yeah, no, but I understand all that, but. Why do it always gotta be on? Oh, the nigga, why you ain't put a condom on? Bitch, why you ain't why you ain't throw a condom in? Mm, ain't no motherfucking bitch. Yeah, and that's ain't another no thing. Woman, y'all gotta start being accountable. Yeah. Who y'all letting nut in y'all pussy? I'm tired of. <laughs> listen, I'm a single man, right? So I date multiple women. I meet different women, and they. Oh they, no, they bitch, you motherfucking tall ass Abraham Lincoln ass. <laughs> 
What's up, bro? What's, What's up? up, man? How y'all doing? Hey, don't say nothing to him. We shoot him. We shoot him. Oh, okay, go my heart. But, looking like a motherfucking Western, no, man. But look, but they they tell me what they got. I heard you were stealing bottles over the fucking weekend too. <laughs> I heard nigga, that. Y'all was down C motherfuckers. Y'all was down PC, nigga. Y'all was down C swipes. That's what the fuck y'all was doing. Y'all was down DC swiping in that motherfucking club. That's what the fuck y'all was doing. Oh, shit. Y'all was down DC swiping in that motherfucking club. That's what the fuck y'all was doing. This should be like the party house. Like everybody in the motherfucking mom is here. RB. Pull up. Yeah, y'all kill it. Y'all gotta stop talking to them. They come ring. Tell nobody else don't come. Lock the here. fucking door. Hey, come on, come up here. Look, tell them we don't. Do. No, tell them something. That's somebody you need to come up here with yeah, for uh, another episode. Huh? Tell tell the brother down there, brother Tooth to come up. Tooth. Mm -hmm. Tell Tooth to come up. Tell brother Two Side <laughs> Muhammad to come the fuck up here. But like I was saying, women gotta be accountable for who they let nut nut in their pussy. Cause the bitches always put the responsibility on the men. Y'all know what the fuck y'all be doing. I mean... Y'all see the signs when y'all fucking with a nut ass nigga. Like, bitches always get mad. They complain about their baby fathers, but... Bitch, you knew he wanted to take care of his other three kids, and then you had a baby with him, and now you got an attitude that he ain't taking care of your baby. So what y'all got, got to say about that, custom man? I mean... That's... I'm not in that predicament. Well, I kind of am, but I'm not. Like, my baby father take kids of me and my daughter. You know, my baby father's in child support. He had another baby, and she kind of thinking like it's going to be the same shit. You know what I'm saying? And right. it's not going to be the same shit because the roof roof is not even deducting from me. It's really deducting from you because at the end of the day, all the shit that he was doing, you know, whatever he was doing, you know, probably taking the bitch out to eat, doing all that other type of shit. The kid is involved now. Bitch, that shit's out the window. You know what I'm saying? You so what you mean? You trying to dictate his money? I'm not really trying to dictate my his money, but it's like me and my baby father we cool now. We like best friends, but it's like he tells me the shit like I can't really do the shit that I really want to do, and like for real, for real, this shit would be a turn off. Okay. Yeah, but it's still a turn off because it's like damn, bitch. Like whatever the case may be, he told you not to keep the baby, bitch. You shouldn't keep the baby. You should just listen to him because then it was like the relationship is going downhill. Why don't girls listen when I don't I tell know, them I don't to keep the baby? Why? And you know I ain't got no money. Right. So why would a bitch have a baby by me? Because you got good hair. Dude. Yep, and you got good hair and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no reason. Y'all bitches got to stop having babies and niggas got good hair. Next time I have a baby, I'm having a baby by white man. Like, as a reason why I'm having a baby by white man, so my motherfucking baby come out like my motherfucking daughter. Blue eyes and brown, blonde mm -hmm. hair. Your daughter got a white dad? No, she does not. But he's light skinned? For me to keep the trait, I gotta fuck a white man. Man, man, light skinned though? No, he's not light skinned, but I'm not fucking that nigga again, so I gotta get a white dad. Stop, don't go that route. First I mean, of all, I ain't no I'm white I'm trying to change my life around because I'm not, I'm not, I said 20 times I was done with the niggas. I'm not fucking with your motherfucking niggas. Your niggas is a piece of shit. They know, not with y'all, but y'all be having some shit with y'all. Oh, too. Let me y'all, especially the ones that come the fuck home. <sighs> so what about the ones that be coming the fuck home? So what about the guys shit. that come home? They be on that. Well, I ain't experienced like that. I experienced it with a bitch. That was locked up. When your girlfriend came home, <laughs> the bitch came home for me, right? <laughs> but she was. So hold on, hold on. When you was locked up, you had a girlfriend. I had like three. Like, you locked up together? Yeah, we was locked up together. Okay. So you just was eating pussy? Bro. I was eating no fucking pussy. Yeah, I was eating my. We was bumping, and that bitch was eating my pussy. They was cute girls? One of them was a, a, a boy girl. Why are you booked in Florida or some shit? I was booked in Florida first, then I got transferred. I was on a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, yo, we about to start filming another podcast. The podcast was up, and why did we Truman? Lee said, yo, RB, you ain't gonna believe this shit, dog. I said, what happened? Bro, they locked custom made up, dog. He said, I think she was still in the Disney World. She just had one Disney World. I was dying, bro. You in my talk, my podcast. What? You tell me. Yeah, I just like to Talia, yeah, just wait downstairs, Talia. It's my fault, bro. It's my fault. She coming to buy this? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
No, not at one time. I can shoot multiple episodes. You just happen to come. Well, I like getting the fuck with the car heads. How about the fuck head? So I'm gonna do it with the um, tire. Where is, um, is her name Amber? Yeah. Call Amber. No, we're not calling Amber. We still shooting, you always talking all this luck shit. Why you wanna fuck her? Lock the fucking door! Motherfuckers keep yeah, coming the fuck in! You wanna fuck her? Nah, she ain't my type. So I went back to you fucking these girls in prison. <laughs> you had a strap, like how do y'all fuck in prison? That bitch made a strap, so she made Did a strap. Did you make straps? No, it was, look, when I was the top, niggas was making straps. Really? Yeah. What'd it be with? It'd be like with the sausages, and then she wrapped it. She wrapped it around like the the um, faggot boy. She wrapped it around like saran wrap. Saran wrap, wrap. and then to make it like if you want like a harder, more sensation, she wrapped, like put you know like the little cups they give you for the medicine. That's not sanitary. Uh, uh, the little cups. The little baby yeah. cups. Yeah, she opened them up. But I, I just used the summer sausages with the um with the saran wrap on it. So that you was, was fucking in jail. They, yeah, they, they be called them joint. What they be? Uh, the girls call them what? Bo boys or bobos or some shit. Bo boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, custom made. So you got your pussy ate, fucked, and bumped on in jail. Definitely. By the way, she doing her nails right now on the set. Yeah. Got um, some CBS uh, nails that she stole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, can you can you steal me some condoms? I could have put a smoke on some condoms today because I was in the section. I stole some people. Oh. I stole a whole bunch of shit. I, mean, I should have bought the shit that I stole from CVS. You know what I'm talking about, dog? You ain't stole all that shit. Bro, condoms, $20. How the fuck y'all expect a nigga to strap up and do the right thing? Y'all charging me a dub for 10 condoms. You're going to pay a dub or you're going to pay $53? I mean, what kind of I'm going to get the uh, Trojan Ecstasy Jones. You, you feel more with them. You're going to pay a dub or you're going to yeah. pay $53? That's yeah. what I'm going to think. Or you're going to pay that child support. <laughs> Why did someone get your shit snapped? I am. They said I gotta wait till I'm 30. 30? You gonna be 28. Yo, I'm on the way to I'm going this year. They got me fucked up. Mm. How many kids you got? I got two. I wanna know what's the craziest thing a nigga done over your pussy like that you like, man, this nigga pussy with. I had a lot of crazy shit though. Um What a nigga do? What? Um, and Montana, you got shared experience when you got out of character over a girl. I had a nigga stalk me, ran down on me when I was out with another nigga. Um, hey, oh, all right, all right, so let's explain that situation. He ran down on you while you was out with another nigga. So basically, I lied. I told the nigga I wasn't home, so I, apparently he must have followed me or some shit. He followed me, I'm out. We downtown, matter of fact. We was at Ruth Chris, we had Ruth Chris and shit. <clears throat> and boy, he ain't coming in the Richard Buckley shit. He came like that as he was leaving out. Oh, so I thought you was home sleep. Like, mm -hmm. and the nigga right there. So I ain't had no choice but to, like, come on, dog. You drove like, Ruth Chris in this nice little establishment. He, no, he was kept it respectable, though. So you know how Ruth Chris is, like, on the side of that parking lot? You know where the parking lot is, because right next to that's the Ruth Chris. All right, well, he Fridays. came out into the parking lot and was like, oh, but I thought you was you were asleep. Like, what, what happened to you being asleep and shit like that? This is why you, this is why you said you were asleep, because you out with another nigga and shit. So now the other nigga you got the face Because you out with The nigga, I, I mean, like, I ain't, I did. So what did he do? He didn't beat the dude up? He didn't do nothing. You either said all he that and, all right, cool. And so all right, cool. I'm gonna go to motherfucking recess after this motherfucker. I'm not going with you. You didn't just shine a light on my motherfucking spot like that. Like, you tripping. No. But that's older dudes, though. That's why I said I'm trying to get more so in the younger. So, what type of. Do you like. You like older guys, right? Yeah, I just started liking fat guys. Fat niggas. Well, I'm about to show you this motherfucking. Why I like fat guys? They, they share more. Yeah. Them nails corny and shit. I don't like these ones. Fuck y'all. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna do these ones. Yeah, like these. That's true for once in your fucking life. Fuck y'all. What's wrong? I like these ones, like with the little milestones on them. So what's up? What the fat niggas doing for you? Oh, fat niggas. Man, fuck them. No. I ain't eating no bitch pussy, but don't come to that. Nigga, fuck you. You better be hit, man. It's your all in your ways. Man, you wouldn't even knew. You wouldn't even knew that was fake unless you see me, because you see me put. One thing about me, I pay attention to everything on a woman. I was All right, raised by a woman. I know what, what the fuck is fake or not, nigga. What um, what big crew that? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is Big? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what Tasha? What Tasha? Watch your mouth. Watch your fucking mouth. 
fucking hoe. Now I'm gonna get her the fucking hoe. Where why Tosh not here though? Cause she not. We not talking about that. We on the podcast. We live. He not going. Thank you. That shit ass. All right, next time I put him on one. I don't want y'all to. Be they look transparent too. too. Like you can see through them damn near. They look neutral. No, they. They look natural. Is y'all scared of the coronavirus shit? No. Nope. I'm scared you, but you motherfucking got it. You can touch a nose. I'm throwing that shit on. So y'all not scared? Nah. I'm leaving that shit. That's just another agenda. I mean, we is. we basically been dealing with shit like that our whole life. Yeah. When you come out the house, you might get popped. So niggas don't care about that shit, bro. That's a million head right now. And he's scared. Any nigga that me. fucked the smoker back in the day is immune to that shit. Yeah. You said a smoker, a smoker, crack king, whatever you want to name it. They immune to that shit. You come from the hood, you immune. You immune to that shit. I think so too. That ain't nothing but a common cold for real. That more niggas died from the F, what was that, the, the H5N1 that when Obama was in the office than this shit. And when that was going on, the Angwallers shut down cities and, and trying to do quarantines. Man, that's just some shit. It's something bigger than this. It's definitely you know? something bigger than this. Did y'all see the troops and shit on, in um, Fairmont Park? No. Did y'all see the troops and shit? No, like they're supposed to be really, like, supposed to be really yeah, taking Yeah, we need to shut the fuck down. That's why we got to shoot all these episodes and give people some entertainment while they quarantine. And my biggest fear right now is getting quarantined with the wrong bitch. Because I want to call a bitch over, like, tomorrow, but I'm scared that they might lock us down. Yeah, and I got to stuck with this bitch for two weeks, bro. Set a month down. But the thing is, I never got chased by, by the military. Yeah. So, yeah, they we going to catch you, bro. They ain't going to catch me. I'm going, I'm going to run playing Ding Dong Dixie soon as they hit the city. Which one to run? Huh? I'm going to run. No, I ain't going to run, but I'm going to go have some fun. Yes, so, me. I'm coming to fucking Fuck the coronavirus. We out here. But back to the uh, bullshit. Give me three turn-offs that'll make you not fuck with somebody. Fuck with me. Montana Dixie. first, boy. Ugly feet. Cause I made you out there. No, 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 my shit definitely terrible. You got some monsters. They probably monsters now. Yeah. But I'm gonna go get the motherfucking the, the fake nails. They got fake toenails and shit. You can get fake toenails? No, I just got that shit because I couldn't get my motherfucking feet done. Fuck that. Where the Montana, the bad feet, what else? Bad hygiene and talk too much. I be talking too much. Can't stand the bitch that run her mouth. Like, I had a bitch I fucked. And she told everybody she fucked me. Yeah, she was like, hit too. I was mad as shit. Yeah, I hate, like, like you can talk, go ahead and speak your mind, but the motherfuckers that be talking shit on and shit ain't got, it ain't no, like, I don't have no involvement with it. Why are you speaking on this? Why are you even telling me this? Like, talk hey, too much. Go ahead, cussing me. What? Let me turn it off from the guy. This motherfucking toe suit tight, which is ass spray, you showing and shit. I hate that shit. Like, you know how like, the jeans too tight. Ass I, 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 I,
Called my mom. Yo, real shit. I just found some ibuprofen in the crib. 800 milligrams. That shit took the pain. Listen, I got sentenced. I what was the fuck you snorting coke, man. What is wrong? I'm putting my motherfucking single eating now. I was, I, I was. They, they offered me a deal at you know a 10 and 20. This shit ain't bothered me. I went to trial, lost my case, got sentenced. Shit ain't bothered me. I got a two feet in jail. That shit. Man, I was asking God all types of shit. Yeah, oh God, God, please. What? I'm walking around mask up. Make a grown man cry. Yeah, mm -hmm. the shirt wrapped around my face. That shit ain't no joke. And they ain't doing for you in jail. Like, they be treating you on their bullshit. Yeah, and, you know, I have a lot of money upstate. Upstate took care of me. They took that to break the fuck out. And the county, they be like, no, nah, I don't want to do that with you. Yeah, the county, they ain't fucking with that. They I ain't, ain't doing that. I ain't touching that. You know all about jail, don't you? You know I mean? Yeah, she was in there making boy boys and shit. Yeah, you did yeah. real time. Niggas ain't do time like that. You got a lot more street cred than niggas. Yeah, I did some time, time. How much time you did? I mean, how many times I've been locked up my whole life? I've probably been locked up by like a good eight. Yeah. All robbery. No. Ain't no robbery. The crazy part about me is I be having good ass motherfucking lawyers. Ain't nothing on my motherfucking jack. Yeah, so mm. stop Ooh. playing. Stop, stop that bullshit. I said you beat them things. Yeah, I beat them motherfucking things. Beat them cases like Rocky. Yeah, like don't, don't play. And that shit is motherfucking Google. Whatever, Google, Google that shit. Uh, court dockets and all that. Yeah. I probably got one joint on my shit when I was out. This is a funny shit. Custom made, say spank. When I was out King of Pressure, I think I was probably like four or five years ago. I had this crease. Now, you know, my, you remember I used to be getting them braces, them Alex and Andy braces, right? Mm -hmm. I used to be getting them, I used to be selling them, but I used to I be, I used to know the motherfuckers that worked in like security and Nordstrom's or Macy's or whatever like that. So I was cool, I put the young kids on it, had them going there and start starting shit, like, and like they about to fight or whatever, so you know, we can really still so the braces still and shit. Like shit. Yeah, so eventually they caught on, but they never could catch me because I was like the main person. Like, but you was the king. Yeah, pin. I was the king pin, but it was crazy because they was really looking for me, but it was like they could never touch me because you, you would never see me going in there still enough. You know That's what I'm why they used to call you Miss Terry Morda. <laughs> you can say that, but I want to hear your craziest stealing story. This bracelet shit, I, this this bracelet shit really made you would think I've been lying. I made a lot of money with. I probably made no bullshit. Probably like like ninety thousand. And probably like four months. I swear to you, no bullshit. What kind of bracelets? What the fuck? No, you know, no, I just said any bracelets. The per one like bracelet, balls. that shit, one little wire shit, that shit like fifty dollars. I swear yeah. to God, fifty dollars mm -hmm. or thirty dollars. You know, we can't go good. No, no. I ain't going to show no money. I know my picture's still in the back of the motherfucking store. I ain't going to. Gotcha. They had me. You happy. see this woman? Yeah. Called they the they had me happy, and I was like, no. But I started pushing on it. I remember my boyfriend. He in the feds now. You had but, a boyfriend. Yeah, I put him. I ain't really put him down with it, but you know this shit is the street shit, nigga. We about to take this run out to Connecticut. We about to get these braces. Yeah, we about to get these braces. Put that motherfucking shit. Put them pills to the side. We about to go get these braces. We went on a run. The braces went out Connecticut. Probably took us like six hours to get there because we stopping and going. We get there, remind you, I don't know the security team, I don't know how whatever set up, but we about to go on that shit, snatching and grabbing. That's what type of time we was on. So. Of course, I'm drawn because I'm already a little drunk. I'm a little buzz when I said the shit. He paranoid in a motherfucker because he's like, bitch, no, why are you struggling? I got some drugs. I'm not right. going in there stealing no braces. Nigga, we going to steal braces. So, it's funny because I didn't get caught. This nigga kind of got caught, but it was like, he was beating the bitches the fuck up. Like, he was beating the security people the fuck up. So, basically, he didn't get caught. So, basically, he was like, with him, he got, he was like, he got the fuck he out. He got the fuck out. And he wasn't just leaving the merchandise. He beat the motherfuckers yeah. ever forever with the government. Like, yeah, I'm not, exactly. one thing about me, I'm, I'm sure not right. a house thief. I'm not stealing yeah. from motherfuckers. Like, I'm not That's not what I heard. They told me to watch me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew a nigga like, you used to talk to, right? And you, um... He said, yeah, she always stood like I just like to cuddle with her, but he just like to hold you tight at night. Nigga, you can lie, cause if I'm fucking a nigga and we dumb fucking nigga, don't we not cuddling no shit like man, that? Man, man said he was holding you because he heard you still. Little motherfucker, you was a motherfucking liar. Motherfucker so you still from people? From niggas. You never wanted a nigga wallet. I mean, yeah. So not why fuck no, I ain't fuck with no wallet. First of all, what the fuck am I stealing out of your motherfucking wallet for? The money I'm trying to steal is not, it can't fit in the fucking wallet. Paper bag yeah, so, I had a situation, no bullshit. My nigga, he said my nigga, I've been fucking since I was 17. You know, I'll count some motherfucking, um... Fuck this. Yo, we about to cut this joke short. I want you to...
do one with, I want you to shoot with Talia. Who the fuck is not so bad today? All right, we're going to cut this short. This is uh, myself, RB, y'all know me. I'm so sure even you guys have even even as custom made nails with these corny the ass press on nails. They about to be hot. My man, my team. With the motherfucking yeah, man. Nigga. But we all want that new one. We got to get some new motherfucking.